Welcome to a couple of monkeys. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you may have noticed this big, large thing behind me. Most woodworkers might have thought it was a panel saw, but no, it is a CNC. In this video, we wanted to show you how we installed the CNC and made some projects with it. This was the original Maslow CNC from the company MakerMade. We bought the kit. The kit included instructions in order to build many types of frames. We ended up choosing this type. The frame started off with these two triangle pieces. And I connected them together with this 2x4 on the bottom. Then I connected these arms on the top of a piece of plywood then attach the piece of plywood to the frame I had made earlier. Now this is a much older setup than the new M2s that they have nowadays. So I'm not going to go over any of the calibration or software I ended up having to use on this CNC because of it's all obsolete by now. But if you have any questions on our setup, go ahead and leave us a question in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the early projects that we had made with the Maslow and some of the handmade upgrades that we had made for this system. One of the first ones was in order to control some of the dust in the room, I had installed this large shower curtain. This shower curtain was a good idea. Whenever we would clean up around the CNC, we would see a line of dust right inside of the edge of the curtain. Now the original Maslow also did not have a vacuum hose connected to the router. So there was two ways of going about doing this. You either had to fabricate it yourself, like we did, or you could buy a router that specifically has a vacuum attachment. And I've got to say, taking a CNC out of the box, putting everything together, and then using the CNC in order to cut the parts for the CNC is pretty awesome. Okay, so now after cutting all of the parts that I needed in order to get the CNC up and running up to that point, the first real project that we put together was this coaster. The next project was this candy cane. I love how this picture shows how I had designed it and how it looks after I had cut it out. Since this is one of our first projects, we figured we would paint in all of the finer details, so we just did the outline. Now the next big project ended up being one of our most popular, and it is a shoe rack. This project ended up using the full 8 foot by 4 foot CNC space. And yes, this is the actual speed that the CNC actually cuts at. And as you can see, a very clean shaven Tim is working on French cleats right now. And this is the ground control software that we were using in order to control the machine. The red X with the circle is where the router is on the sheet. It also gives you XY coordinates on where the router is moving. We ended up making a short on the same project and it's over on our YouTube channel. You can find the link in the right hand corner. This was our first big project even before we started our YouTube channel. We designed this shoe rack ourselves, drew it up on ViaCAD and had the CNC cut it out. The next project that we cut out with the Maslow CNC was a coffee table and it was our first woodworking video that we had done on YouTube. The link for the video is in the upper right hand corner. We made basic box joints using our CNC and leg part of the table went like a jigsaw puzzle. The top of the table was made with cherry and walnut and it had a very nice storage space underneath. Then we designed a basic solar light enclosure to have it around our backyard. And we designed it so we can cut it out with our CNC. I made them so they would come together with box joints 
and we use small mason jars for the light enclosure. We made six of them and it ended up being a really good project. The link to this video is in the upper right hand corner. This next project was a smaller version of the first project. In this video we made two end tables matching our coffee table. We designed it utilizing box joints. It was extraordinarily satisfying to put together. We used gunstock stain to give it a bit of a reddish color to match the cherry on most of our furniture. These turned out great and we still use them. Video link is in the upper right corner. In this video, we figured out how to mount a small camera on the router gantry itself. It's very satisfying watching the bit cut into the material. For this video, we designed and cut out some Kleenex box holders. In this video, we actually went very detailed into how we made the drawings and how we made the G-code in order to run the CNC. It's actually one of my favorite videos. Again, please check out the link. And then we did something very special for President's Day. Tim, it was for Valentine's Day. It was around the Valentine's Day when we designed a heart with arrow piercing through it. At that time, this was one of the first CNC projects that we actually sold as is on Etsy. It turned out to be a great wall hanging art. This next project was also a wall art. For this one, Tim drew and designed a sailboat sailing away in the sunset. The original art was commissioned by my mother. She really loved sailboats. I can see myself revisiting this project using a laser engraver in order to cut it out. One of the last times I ended up using the Maslow CNC, I used it to cut out these panels for this pie safe. I ended up designing these beautiful lotus flowers for these panels. These shapes were intricate and they needed to be cut through. Panels ended up looking absolutely gorgeous afterwards and I ended up just attaching them with a brad nailer. I was pleasantly surprised with all the intricate colors that ended up coming out of these pieces. Now Aditi, after two years, do you feel that this was a good investment? I think this was a great tool to get our foot in the door in the world of CNC. I did not think I'll enjoy so much watching this machine work, but it was addictive and I really miss seeing it in action. And not just me, I think our supervisor Gray liked it as well. He used to visit me down in the basement and watch the CNC for the entire time it was running. He just loved watching the little spider thing crawling all over the wall. We stopped using it right when the lumber prices, especially for plywood, skyrocketed. Our shop really grew in the past two years and we've been doing more traditional woodworking projects using band saws and table saws and all other tools. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to watch more of the CNC projects, go ahead and leave a comment below and I might just dust this thing off and get it going again. Thank you for watching.